Hello everyone, Green Gemini here back with the next episode of Skyhaven and today it is all about cargo. So we went ahead and unlocked all of that uh, in the last episode, got the research taken care of. We started the base hospitality research, okay, so we added and then we added a couple of these guys in here. Had to redo a couple of things from the last episode because... Um, you know, it, the game was continuously playing and we ended up being in the next day and I didn't really want to start out that way. So thankfully, when I loaded the game up, I just had to do a couple tweaks and uh, now we're back at the beginning of the day. And we're totally fine. Um, so adding those two people on there that ate up about 400 bucks. So we've got twenty six hundred dollars. Pretty good. Um but what I want to do is we we want to get this cargo storage in here and by putting that in not only okay so yeah that's going to use a little bit of money um it's going to take about $920 to do that we're also going to need to connect these to this but here's the thing I don't necessarily want to use all of these ramps to connect to here um I think what I want to do is I kind of want to limit this so I can do two vehicles or 270 a piece. So I'll do that. And I think for now, I'm just going to link ramps three and ramp four up to the air cargo terminal because that is the one that is closest to these two. And then we'll leave one and two to just the fueling and the postal service. But this is also hooked up to postal service and fueling as well. Because more than likely with cargo, we're going to need to have... Let's go ahead and get to our, our flights here. Let's go ahead and fast forward the game. That's what this one is. Let's fast forward to flight for the next day. Um... And we'll kind of leave our money where it's at. We'll leave the thousand dollars where it is. Uh, so pause that. So here's what we've got going on here. So I have a flight check, which I don't need. Uh, passengers, which I don't need. Um, so we'll start with ramp one and two. And then we'll kind of go from there and see what other flights we've got coming in. Come on, I, I need some flights to happen here. Because um, here's here's what I'm thinking. Because we have, do we have four of these? I'll pause this. No cargo yet. Uh, I have four of these vehicles, so one for each of these. Okay, good. Um, I have two vehicles here, and I have two vehicles here. All right, so no pre-flight check. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one up to here. You. I'll go ahead and put this one here on ramp three just to get it going. It'll give us a little bit of extra money. I'm hoping we can get a decent amount, maybe up to like $4,000 today. Aha, ha, ha, here we go. See, I shouldn't have assigned that one to over here, but that's okay. That'll give us an opportunity to get that one in and out. Thankfully, it's just cargo. So that's good. So you can go there. Um, do I have the ability to land that one? I do. That one has flight check, which I cannot do. Flight check, flight check. Is there, there's no way for me to automate this, is there? I don't think that that's, let's see. Every ramp needs to be linked to the service facilities in your airport manually. Press link, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, fine. I know that. I know it all needs to be linked manually. I guess my question is, okay, so that one's going to go there, not there. Maybe this is something that is later on down the road. So we have luggage drop zone, petty trading, stairway mounting, bus operation, advanced terminal. Okay. Services, air traffic control, ramp service, ramp service two, advanced facilities and equipped for ramp service, air traffic control. 
If a lot of airplanes accumulate around the airport and in itself, this can lead to chaos. To avoid it, you need an air traffic controller and a tall tower. It doesn't really give me much of a description of what's happening with that. Okay. Pump fueling, growing full volume, requires new approaches. Carriage in the tank and refueling with pumps is much more efficient and transporting fuel in barrels. Okay, so it looks like the more stuff that we unlock, the more optimization we'll have. Advanced mail logistics. Optimize of sorting letters and additional helpers. As a result, letters are unloaded in the mail warehouse faster, although not always getting to the correct address. After completing the research, you can activate the feature in the warehouse. Okay. So we'll just kind of just kind of let this play out here a little bit. I want to make sure that the so okay, so cargo is three and four. And then these, okay, so you need to go to two. That's kind of what this game is for now. This is but what I like though is that so we're we're definitely getting a lot more money in here with having these different services. Uh okay, you can go there. These definitely need to hurry. Uh, cargo needs to go with that one. It says I do have two vehicles for it, but it doesn't seem to be going very quickly. That's okay. That's all right. Um, and I think we're going to have uh, some research available for that too. Pause. This is, this is where we get into a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. All this, all this flight check stuff. This is crazy. See, you can see how many flights that I, I just recently, you know, that I just got rid of because I couldn't take any of them. So he's waiting for that. These are all occupied. Not much else I can do. Um, I have some money. So I could, I mean, I could technically put some more on here. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that yet. What is what is taking this so long? Yeah, see, we're we're waiting on. Wow, 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 wow. That's taking a while. It is. It really is taking a while. Uh, get rid of. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of passengers. That one. That one. And that one. All right. Kind of opens me up a little bit for a couple of things. I'm telling you, I, I'm gonna need to add some more of these on here. I've got a lot of flights coming in. I really do. Get rid of that one. That one can go there. These are taking forever. Why are these taking so long? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Par parking service performing. Fueling is a bit of an issue. So give me... Let's go here. Let's add... A parking spot and a vehicle. Let's see if that can help at all. Then we're going to need to get into some research too. What's going on this? Not enough fuel. Whoopsie. That's the problem. Fuel storage. Refill. That's the issue. <laughs> it's not that I don't have enough. It's just that I don't have any fuel. Get rid of all that. Get rid of that. This this cargo thing is actually really nice. I like it. Let's see if we can't uh, zoom out here a little bit. See, this is cool. This is this is great. So we have a tiny little airfield here. Okay, so we have our little airfield. We have a little cargo station. This and that. I feel like this stuff needs to be moved though. What stinks is that I don't have the ability to move it. And if I delete it, I don't know what that's going to cause. I don't know. What issues might arise because of that. So that can go there. That can go there. Get rid of that one and that one. So now that we have refueling back in. We should be good to go. Uh, cargo to that one. All right. So let's think about. Let's think about next steps here. This is. I don't like. I don't like this. I do not like this. 
This is something that I'm, I'm starting to learn here is how it's going to be best to service all of these guys, right? So I think maybe if we have these here, if this were to move, that way it gets a little bit closer, right? That would that would definitely improve service. Um, so post warehouse here. This is going to cost me a little bit of money, but add vehicle, add vehicle, add parking spots, add vehicle. This might be a mistake, um, but we're going to say post service. We're going to link to here instead. This one, same here, post service to no post service to here. This one post service. Send over to this one, same with this one, take over to here. This one we will stop. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to... Staying on parking, staying on parking. Okay, I did. I got $840 back out of that, so that's good. That's, thankfully... Thankfully, um, get rid of that, get rid of that, that, and that cargo goes to here. This one, this one goes to here. That one goes to there. Okay. All right. So that's going to be a little bit more efficient for us. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the barrel stock. That's going to move over here. Cargo, same thing. I'm going to move that up here. But we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that here at, at nighttime. Once night hits, we'll get that rearranged, so I don't have to worry about stuff being delayed or having to waste the money, because <laughs> I really, really don't want to have to spend that money. It's gonna be easier for me to delete these rather than uh, do that. That one I can't do. That one I can. No, no. No, and you can see what the kind of money that I'm throwing away here. Like this one, $323 for for people. Come on now. What's this? Not enough. Whoops. Again? Oh, no, we have fuel. Well, we do now. That's what this was saying. This was all of our alerts are over here. So, okay. And then this is cargo terminal, transportation of goods by air. Someone will say that the blah, 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 blah. Uh, goodbye, 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 goodbye. You go here. That one and that one. God. <laughs> oh, with moving these guys around, I really don't think we're going to make nearly as much money as what I thought we were going to, but that's okay. I'm not going to be too terribly sad about it. I kind of thought that maybe we were going to have some some cargo with refueling or cargo with mail and stuff like that that was going to be available as well, but I guess not. Let's see, we're coming up on closing time here. Those two are definitely going to be the last two here. I might be able to squeeze another one of these in here, but I don't know yet. Come on. Come on, let's squeeze it in. It's $155. That one I can squeeze in. That was fast. Ooh, that one I can squeeze in too. It's 106. That one I cannot take. That one I cannot take. And come on. Come on, come on, come on. I want I need to be able to get like a couple more in. Ah, that's it. That's all my flights. Okay. That is not what I wanted to do. All right, so that's not bad. A um, little over 3,000. After midnight, we should be able to get a little bit more money. Um, I got to wait for cargo to wrap up. Okay. So stopped, delete. I'm going to replace that because we actually we got all of our money back on that. So that's good. I like that. I'm, I'm happy with that. Then fortunately, though, we didn't get our money back when it came to the, the vehicles that we've spent money on. So let's add our two vehicles back into there. Um, I wonder if if I 
curious. If I sell this, I don't get it back. Crap. I just, <laughs> I just wasted $270. It's all right. We're learning. We are learning. Um, Let's say we'll get rid of this here. This is just so much more efficient. It really is. Um, let's kind of make sure that we're looking at... So refueling efforts. I kind of don't want to move this because I already have three vehicles and I don't want to spend the extra money on it. I really don't. So cargo terminal. Forgot these need to be linked. We'll get that linked onto there. And I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Okay, cool. So we actually got through that day really, really quickly. We did. So we got the air cargo terminal in here. I'm happy with it. I'm good with it. Oh, <laughs> and we got the small airport station unlocked as well. Ooh, Ooh. oh, I'm loving this. OK, you know what? We're going to leave this episode here. I'm going to go ahead and we'll fast forward to next day. We'll go ahead and get the uh, the save taken care of here. So there's our, our auto save. We're good there. Pause the game. Uh, we're down to $1,700. So what's it going to cost to, to do that? $1,600. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So some of the flights that we have available are also not only just passenger, but, you know, there's other stuff that's in there, too. Um, my fear, though is that we're going to have this, but we're not going to have much of anything else to offer for the passengers. So we're just going to have to wait to see what happens with that. And then we're also, I can't do anything else here. Okay, so we have that. I need bus operation. So in order to drive a bus full of rich people, truck driver skills are not enough. A little training does not hurt. Moreover, after... It, our dashing guys will be able to manage more buses. I don't know why that just didn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Um, so we have an advanced terminal, hard to believe, but transporting people by air can be a lucrative business. To cover all possible requirements in the foreseeable future, a new terminal project will do. It has a whole two gates. Interesting. Okay, base hospitality. Crazy rich people choose air travel. Unfortunately, they do or they don't really like to wait for a flight at a postal warehouse or cargo terminal. Much small and comfortable passenger terminal is what you need. Okay. All right, so we'll look at that in the next episode. We at least have cargo going for now. Um, I think, though, what I want to do is I want to have this ramp service. I want to research that, so we'll research that at the beginning of the next episode because it's only going to take nine hours to do flight start around like 8 a.m. or something like that. Um, so that'll be good. And yeah, so yeah, very simple episode. So questions, comments, concerns, put it in the comment section down below. Hope you guys are really enjoying this. Uh, it seems like everyone seems to be enjoying it so far on the channel. So I like it. You guys are liking it a lot. You're watching a lot, so appreciate that. The more views, the more likes, the more comments that you do on the videos, the more it gets put out there and everything. So keep those coming. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.